Hello and welcome to Usual Mike Television's Toy Showcase channel and today we are showcasing the Forces of Destiny figure Princess Leia Organa and R2-D2. The packaging for these is so cool. This line here is specifically for girls but they'll say it's gender neutral as we all collect Star Wars figures whether you're a boy or a girl doesn't matter it's the size of the figures that they want to give to you. There's 12 inch figures, 6 inch figures, 3.75 inch figures these are the Barbie doll size figures. I, th I would say it's a 12 inch figure. Not that I'm going to measure it. The R2-D2 is probably a little too large to compare with your 6 inch figures if you're going to put him along the same line. This is so very cool. I, l I like this. It's made by Hasbro. You can see in the logo down at the bottom. As we can see, Princess Leia Organa and R2-D2 Forces of Destiny. This is one of the figures that come out in about August, I think. August the 1st in the US it was released. It's a good looking character. I'm checking it out on the lens there. Very lovely. And there's a few in the line I'll tell you about. At the moment, available is obviously this one. Sabine Wren from Rebels, which she has a removable helmet. We also have Jin Erso. We have another Princess Leia with the green poncho, and that comes with Wicket, the Ewok. I think it's Wicket. It is an Ewok she comes with anyway. We also have Chewbacca. There is also, we have Rey wearing Starkiller base outfit and Rey resistance outfit. But coming soon, we'll have a two pack with her and Kylo from The Last Jedi while she's in the Rey Jedi training outfit and Kylo's unmasked. Interesting stuff. On the back of the artwork, very nice. It will tell you who else is available in the series. There we have Rey Jakku and Jin Erso from Rogue One. Oh, the action that they do is the leg squeezing action that raises the gun. There's no batteries included, so you can't have an electronic uh, R2-D2. But the sculpt on the face, we're getting close on Princess Leia's face. Very lovely. A lot of time, care and effort went into sculpting that face. I, I can't see a flaw with it. I think it looks beautiful. Over, over the years, uh, as you've noticed, the technology has become a lot better in facial sculpts and how they make things look when the painted on eyes you can always get the lopsided eyes lopsided everything this one looks fantastic she got the blaster she's wearing the hoth gear if you didn't know that that's when you know uh empire strikes back stuff excellent comes with blaster eventually it will be cracked out of the case but for the time being just for this toy showcase we're going to leave it in the packet it is a cool little figure. Go and pick yourself up one. It is The Forces of Destiny, if you've never heard of it before. There is a cartoon series linked to it as well. You can watch that online at Star Wars YouTube channel, I believe it is. It's, it'll be available on there. Check that out. And this has been a review of a very elegant, good-looking, clean line. There's no, there's no mucked up hair. There's no lopsided eyes. The face sculpts look good, the clothing, the detail, the ripples, it's, it's great. This is a very well put together figure and for the money you pay for it, it should be. <laughs> That's all for today. My name is Usual Mike. You can follow me on Twitter at UsualMike30 or you can follow me on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. I'll take a photo of this and put it up on the channel, on, on the page for you. You can go ahead and subscribe, leave me a like, drop me a comment and I will see you guys next time. So all the best.